Hey everyone, this is Brandon's Movie Corner, and it's time for kind of a different video on my channel than what I usually do, but this is going to be an overview of something that I got at Walmart a couple weeks ago, and I have mentioned on my community tab post that I got something at Walmart that isn't movie related, and some of you who are friends with me on Facebook, I'm sure already know about this, but for those of you who are not, I'm going to reveal in this video um, what that surprise item I got is. And if you're looking at the video title, you already know what it is, but now I'm actually gonna show it to you. It is a Crosley Cruiser Plus portable turntable. So yep, this is actually a record player. And I'm gonna show you the box first. Got wireless play, stream digital music through the built-in speakers, stream your vinyl to external Bluetooth speakers. And here on the side, it lists like things it has. Three-speed turntable, Bluetooth output, built-in Bluetooth receiver, pitch control, auxiliary in, stereo speakers, RC, out RC output, and headphone jack. Yep, I have seen these record players at Walmart before, and I have been thinking about possibly getting one in the future. So when I was at Walmart a couple weeks ago and I saw them, I thought, you know what, I'm going to buy one. And as for the record player itself, I actually have it right here. And I'm going to show it to you guys. It kind of looks like a briefcase, but it's actually a record player. Yep, here are the speakers. And here on the back, where you plug it in. Now I'm actually gonna open it up. And I'll show you what the inside looks like. So here's where you put the record to play it. And here's the, um, the little needle. And this thing right here is actually an adapter for um, seven inch records, like records that are smaller than the um, the usual 12 inch ones. I don't have any of the seven inch records yet, but if I ever get any in the future, then in order to play, I just have to put this thing right here in the middle. And this lever right here um, raises the arm. Like when you flick it this way, and then when you flick it that way, it puts it down right there. And also has the auto stop switch, the speed 33, 45, and 78. In order to play a regular 12 inch record, I'd have it set on the 33 setting. This switch right here is phono and Bluetooth, which the phono would. Um, that's the setting I'd have it on to play the record. There's the pitch control and the volume control and the power. Yep, and when I turn it on right there, that red light turns on. So, yep, and that's the pitch control. I'm going to turn that off for now. So that's basically what the record player itself looks like. And also, as a bonus in this video, I'm going to show you guys my vinyl record collection so far, which I only have five records at the moment, but I do plan to get more in the future. And I have all these records in um, these um, protective sleeves to prevent them from catching dust and dirt and all that other crap. But here are the records that I have so far. The first two I'm going to show are the ones that I got on October 19th along with the player at Walmart. So first up we have ACDC Back in Black. This is from Columbia Records. Originally released in 1980, but this is a 2003 re-release. Here's the um inside on the sleeve. Yep, 
Yep. Now here is um, side one, which has the songs Hell's Bell, Shoot the Thrill, What Do You Do For Money, Give Him The Dog Bone, and Let Me Put My Love Into You. And then on side two, we had Back In Black, You Shook Me All Night Long, Have A Drink On Me, Shake A Leg, and Rock And Rolling no Noise Pollution. Yep. Let me get this back in here. And I'm going to put it back in the protective sleeve um, after I'm done filming the video. I'll just set it right there for now. Next up, we have Aerosmith's Greatest Hits. Also released by Columbia Records. Originally released in 1980, but this is a 2019 re-release. Here's the insert with the list of songs on both sides, and also an ad for other Aerosmith records. And the interesting thing about this one, the record itself is white. And if I remember correctly, there is a sticker on it saying that this is a Walmart exclusive. And on side one, we have Dream On, Same Old Song and Dance, Sweet Emotion, Walk This Way, which is my favorite Aerosmith song, and Last Child. And then on side two, we have Back in the Saddle, Draw the Line, Kings and Queens, Come Together, and Remember Walking in the Sand. Yeah. Now, this next record I got on October 21st at the um, at that library book sale in Mount Laurel, New Jersey. Um, if you saw my update from that day, um, I got a bunch of DVDs from that um, book sale. But I also got this record there as well, Frank Sinatra Sentimental Journey. This is from Capitol Records, a Capitol reissue formerly entitled Come Swing With Me. Now, it does not say what year this record came out, so I am not entirely sure when this was released. So if anyone knows exactly what year this was released, let me know in the comments. Yep, here's side one, which has Day by Day, Sentimental Journey, Almost Like Being in Love, American Beauty Rose, and Yes Indeed. And side two has On the Sunny Side of the Street, Don't Take Your Love for Me, Five Minutes More, Paper Doll, and I've heard that song before. Now this next record I got from eBay, um, I won as a bid auction on October 21st and I received it last Monday, October 25th, and that is none other than Michael Jackson Thriller, which is the best selling album of all time. Released in 1982 by Epic Records. Yeah. And the front opens up like this. And here on the sleeve, it's got um, all the song lyrics. And there's um, a drawing um, representing the song, The Girl Is Mine. And a drawing representing Thriller. And of all the records that I have in my collection so far, this one is my favorite. 
So here on side one, we have Wanna Be Starting Something, Baby Be Mine, The Girl's Mine with Paul McCartney, and of course, Thriller. And side two has Beat It, Billie Jean, Human Nature, PYT, Pretty Young Thing, and The Lady in My Life. Yep, this is definitely an awesome album. Hang on a sec while I get this back in. And now here's the last um, vinyl record I have for now. So I got this at Walmart on October 27th. Stranger Things music from the Netflix original series. Released in 2017 by Sony Music Entertainment. And this actually comes with two records. Yeah. Yep, opens up like this. It also has a couple inserts too. A poster for season two, Stranger Things, and the Stranger Things sticker. Now I do physically own the first two seasons of Stranger Things on Blu-ray, which those are both Target exclusives, even though I got my copies uh, from eBay. And I actually have watched both of them and the show is actually really good so far from what I've seen. Now, as for season three, um, I'll watch that whenever I get Netflix back, whenever I decide to do that. And I know season four is coming out next year. But let me show you the first record. Here's side A. And this time I'm not going to read all the songs and the dialogue listings and all that. So I'll let you do it yourself this time. Here's side B. And over here on this side, we have the second record. Here is side C and side D. Yep, and of all the records I have, this is the only one I've not listened to yet, but I will listen to this sometime soon. Yeah. And that's a look at my Crosley Cruiser Plus record player and my vinyl record collection so far. And I do plan to get more records in the future. So somewhere down the road, once I get some more records, I'll probably do like a vinyl record update or something. But that's all I have to show for this video. Thank you all for watching. This is Brandon's Movie Corner signing off.